Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be unboxing and installing the Samsung 990 EVO Plus SSD, specifically the 2TB model. So this model features 7250 MB a second in read speed, and the write speed is a bit slower than that I believe, but I'll put it up on the screen. Around the box you can see the main product on front. On the sides, you could see the model number and uh, serial number. Um, on the other side, you can see the product name, and on the back, you could see product information. So let's get started. So the 990 Evo is sort of a special drive in the sense that it supports both Gen 4 and Gen 5 NVMe um, or M.2 slots. So basically, it's sort of like a merge between both generations, while the Samsung 990 Pro is only a Gen 4 drive. So I'm going to just quickly cut this open right over here by this sticker. I like I just damaged the box. And then I also got this drive for about $110 to $120 off Amazon during Prime Day. So once you unbox the packaging, you basically get this little container which on the bottom has some literature, which I'm going to try and get out right now. It's really sticky. Oh, that is extremely sticky. I almost sort of hate how sticky it is. Okay, I, I want to get this. Yeah, it's just so sticky. Okay, getting that off my hands. So it appears that we have the instruction manual. Um, I meant instruction guide, and a warranty statement. So yeah, you could find that on Samsung's website, I believe. And then, oh, it looks like it was already open, or not opened. Um, loose. Oh, but then inside you will find your Samsung 990 EVO Plus SSD and then this is the 2TB model. And then there's nothing else inside of the box, no screwdriver, no heatsink, nothing like that. Just the SSD and a manual and warranty thingy. So yeah, so let's get into installing this bad boy. So today I'm going to be installing this device into my uh, Y70 computer, my Y70 computer, in this little pink case with my Fit Q80, which I already made a video about. So, I already took off the side panel right over here, and uh, since that's the only side panel we're going to need to take off tonight. So, to get started, I'm going to quickly touch the power supply of another computer to discharge any static that I might have on me, and then take this GPU out. I'm going to unplug these two cables. Like so, and then unscrew these screws. No. Oh, uh, that's gonna be annoying. Oh, I actually really sucks that I just dropped that. Oh, hopefully I should be able to get it behind the GPU, which is why I'll be removing that. Okay, what is he doing this? Oh yeah, the screw's actually right here. I'll be able to get it once I remove the GPU. Okay, I should move from that rest. There we go. Should we see it itself? Okay. Shuffle part is done. My 650XT is out. And then, cut the screw. 
So the next thing on our list for today is going to be having to remove this PCIe riser cable from height since I unfortunately can't access the M.2 slots with it on. So to start off with that, I'm just going to unplug that and unscrew this screw on this side. Now it's time to remove the PCIe riser cable. Or no, I should unscrew this first. Actually, I might not even need to remove this. Wait, let me try just taking off the riser cable without removing that. Shoot, I unscrewed the wrong, the wrong slot. Okay, time to remove the riser cable. So remove this slot. So with this slot removed, we're able to access this panel right over here. It's going to be pretty tight though. It should be toolless to basically remove this plate. Perfect. So with that plate out of the way, We'll be able to install some more SSDs, or actually just one SSD today. Okay, so now we have that played off, we can basically see the one, two, three, and four different M.2 slides that we have. Then we actually have a fifth one down right over here, but that's already used for Wi-Fi. And uh, we're going to just be using one of them today for the 980 EVO Plus, right over here. So basically to install the SSD, oops, I moved my camera. You're just going to want to place it diagonally into the slot like so, making sure that it aligns with the little thing like right here. You see there's a spot where it doesn't have any little pins. You're going to want to align it like that. I like guess this is a bit tough to do with one hand. Like so. And it's going to be basically at a diagonal 45 degree angle. Yeah, that's about 45 degrees from the motherboard. Once you do that, you're just going to want to push this down into the motherboard. Shoot, why isn't this moving? You're gonna to wanna to push this down right into the motherboard like that if you have a toolless assembly motherboard. Sadly, not all motherboards are toolless, so you may end up needing to use a screw as seen in this little Wi Fi antenna down here. That's a little M.2 screw, and it will just screw on to the thin off. Do not screw your SLC directly into the motherboard. Make sure it's slightly elevated with a standoff or you'll end up bending it and potentially breaking it. So now we're done installing that SSD in. Yes, it is that simple. We're just gonna basically replace on the metal cover that we took off from before. This whole thing right here. One super important thing to make sure you do before you do that, take off, right, you have to get upside down. You're gonna wanna take off the cover for the heat sink, or heat spreader, like this little blue thing before you basically put it back onto the SSD to allow the SSD to actually bring its heat into this metal plate and dissipate it. I don't really know the science behind it, but what I do know is that it makes it cooler, which is a good thing. We don't want our SSDs running too hot. I had experience making a backpack PC and when that SSD ran really hot, it just didn't want to function. So make sure to remove, well, if you have a cover, the little thing on top of the heat spreader. So now it's time to install that, well, reinstall that cover back into the computer. So not all computers actually have a cover like this, and some just have an SSD slot or a smaller cover. So 
Your mileage may vary with these instructions, but the SSD mounting will generally stay the same. So now that we have that cover back on, we've fully installed the SSD and we could reinstall this PCIe cover into the motherboard. Just like that. Then I'm going to screw it in. And perfect, it is nice and secure. So we didn't even need to remove the bottom part of the PCIe riser, which is where the GPU goes, this thing. So that's great. So now it's time to reinstall the GPU. Here is the big beefy GPU, and this is definitely one of the hardest parts of this installation. Taking the GPU out and putting it back in hand. So you just want to line it up with your PCIe slot, spin your motherboard or your riser cable as I am. And uh, oh, that is not like the metal. There we go, finally. Then once you have your GPU in reinstalled, you're going to want to re screw it in. So these screws, I specifically like to thread first, mainly because it's really easy to lose them inside the case or into the GPU, which is something we definitely don't want and something that there's definitely a high chance of happening with my clumsy fingers. Okay, we got one screw threaded. I'm going to screw that in now. Amazing, we are halfway there. Gonna get the second screw. Thread that one in. There we go. And perfect. Two, two screws are installed. Now time for the last part of this video. Um, next to testing it and basically formatting it is going to be installing the uh, eight pin power supply cables. I have some nice pink, white, and blue ones because those are fun colors. And they just plug in uh, like so onto the GPU. Okay, you guys can barely even see what I'm doing. Just make sure it's nice and secure and it latches on. An insecure GPU connection, especially with a 12 volt high power NVIDIA cable, can lead to them burning, and that is still an issue. So make sure to always secure your GPU connections. Perfect. The GPU is back in place, and I currently see nothing wrong with it. So now that we have the SSD in the computer and the computer is running, uh, we can see the home page of the computer. So from here, you're going to want to press on the Windows icon down here, and we're going to want to format the drive. You're going to want to shut Format, and then uh, click on Create and Format Hard Disk uh, Partitions. And basically this is going to load up all of your storage devices on your device and you'll be able to format them. So this, this drive right here is the one that we just installed. So I actually formatted this already unfortunately, but sadly it didn't record. Yet the recording went bye bye. So basically I'm going to be showing you guys this again, but instead with one of my removable USB disks. So basically what you're going to see is the SSD with the amount of storage, but then that storage isn't going to be blue like this, it's going to be black, just like this right over here, and it's going to say unallocated. So you're going to want to right click on that and click new simple volume. Then it's going to take you into an install wizard, as you can see right over here, and you're going to want to go through this install wizard and just continue, continue, and you're going to basically select what options want to apply to you. Um, so, for example, your drive letter, uh, and then if you want to add a name to it, 
I'm not going to be adding a name to this. Uh, and then basically just click finish. And then uh, that will actually let you use that amount of space in the device. I just did this on a USB drive. It's going to be the exact same for SSD. So yeah. Now that we have the drive properly installed into the computer, we're going to benchmark it. So I'm going to open up Crystal This Morning 9. And I'm going to also open up uh, Hardware Info 64. I'm going to run Crystal This Morning 9 now. Uh, making sure it's set to the proper SSD. Uh, I'm going to have it set to 1 gigabyte, and I'm going to have to do one test. So the test appeared to be now completed. So our maximum read speed was 6916 megabits a second, and our maximum read speed was 5784.2 megabits a second. And then for our temperatures, the drive peaked at 95 degrees Celsius, the average 84 degrees Celsius. So yeah, you can just see those right over here. So yeah, let's get into outro. So thank you for watching our video today uh, of installing our 990 EVO uh, plus SSD into my computer. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe if you did, and if you didn't, please comment why. I hope to continue making some videos on this channel, including gaming, and maybe some live streams in the future or vlogs. So yeah, thanks for watching!